folks, I've been getting a lot of questions about response papers because every class, you know, on every level um, is working on response papers at some stage this week. So, uh, response papers are really, really wide open. They are kind of author's choice because here's the thing, they're mathematically very cheap. Uh, they're worth about one point a piece, they're formative grades, and I drop your lowest two of those class of grades, which include quizzes and response papers. So response papers kind of give you a chance to take some risks if you want to. They give you a chance to try out summative ideas if you want to. This is a writing class. So in these response papers, what I'm really looking for is your writing. So uh, writing half a page is going to cause you not to do well. Um, not proofreading at all, that's going to cause you not to do well. But other than that, and you can find this in your syllabus, but it's been six weeks since we looked at the syllabus. Uh, so they're all graded on a 70, 80, 90 scale. So the worst you can do on it, if you complete the assignment, you make an effort, you write you know, a page to two pages, uh, it's on the right piece of what you're supposed to be writing about. Uh, as long as you do that and you turned in on time, the least you can do is a C. So you can, take, you can afford to take some risks here. Uh, and you can afford to play around a little bit if you want to and do something that's kind of fun. Or you can try out summative ideas, whatever you want to do with that. But those are response papers. We will do them all semester or if you're in the junior class, all year long. So, you know, if you have any other questions, you can reach out to me. But I was getting a lot of questions about that, so I'm kind of thinking uh, that may be something that you wanted to hear about. Have a good weekend. You know where I am if you need me.